Got a cigarette? Yeah. Sam, I'm returning your... Oh, oh, Sammy, how are you? Do you know why I called? Every time you do, an angel gets his <laughs> An angel, hardly. But... But Marty... Wings, yeah, I'd like him to fly out of my life. Fuck. Marty, my terms have changed a bit. Uh, uh, don't bore me with the details, I'm late. Two hours, the spot. Fine. I'm a long way, Sammy. I was a poor beauty queen. The Harvest Bell. Brief film stint. Too much nudity. And now the only thing I'm good at is ending marriages. I used to have nothing, but I was happy. Just because you're walking on first to go take a shit does not mean you've won. It takes more than money, I guess. So I just need one last mulligan. I can't do this one, Marty. Damn it, Sammy. You did the last two. Why this one? Have you gone soft, Sammy? <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's a scoundrel. How? When did you grow a conscience? I'm converting. Converting? Religion and your profession hardly go hand in hand. Only putting down the bad ones, Marty. Sorry, this one comes from above. Fine. He's a Nazi sympathizer who pees with the seat down donates to white hate groups while partaking in a human trafficking ring that specifically targets children with puppies and he doesn't recycle. Dick's cheating on me. Bullshit. He leaves bed at the same time every night and comes back smelling of perfume and cigarettes. It's broken my heart, Samuel, so please, just give me this. All right, all right. Yeah, Sammy, I'm shopping. He's at some restaurant. I'm outside, what do you want me to do? Well, let him eat for Christ's sake, and then, did you have one of those, he turns the key and the car explodes? I, uh, I can strangle him when he gets in. That'd be great, Sammy. Listen, there is a lovely Italian gentleman who's about to come take me for a ride, so if you don't mind, I must be on my way. I thought you were shopping. Matilda? Fuck. Sebastian said you'd be a Lorenzo. Well, he told me to expect Matilda. The beautiful blonde with the accent. As if she'd be interested. I thought we quit. Coping mechanism for a scumbag husband whose circadian rhythm is timed for whores and Marlboro Reds. So, uh, where do you think I go every night? To brood, Martha. Brood? Yes, I brood. You do not brood. Yes, I do. I, I look up at the stars and I wonder where my life's gone. What do you think I do? What do you think I think you do coming back every night bathed in cheap perfume? <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540. Your perfume. Why on earth would the you The smell. Be because we quit. Remember?
Well, it doesn't work. Well, you're no saint. When I return from my thoughts, you're always gone. What off with some wet dream for a quickie? Pool house, Dick. I go to the pool house and I smoke. What's that? This? It's a smile. It's the latest innovation in cosmetic surgery. No, but I did go to my doctor about it. It started happening a lot after you and I got together. Said it could happen from time to time when I am enjoying myself. I've seen pictures of you smiling with your ex-wife. That was more of a hostage situation before her. I was a lonely accountant. Nothing to smile about in accounting. Well, stop it. Smiling, enjoying myself, or accounting? Jesus, not the accounting. We need that. The grin. It's not funny. It's not? It's not. I like irony in my life. It keeps me frosty. Why do you think I married you? Out of choices? I think we're just incompatible. I put the eggshells in the disposal, you put them in the trash. Well, you're a mongrel. And I like that talk. And you run over it. He was small. Listen, salsa, samba, shaken, stirred. Right, right, you say tomato, I say tomato, and then we call the whole thing off. Exactly. So why did you marry me? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Let's meet for a drag later. Why do that? Because the pool house can get lonely when you're alone in the pool house. Fun, but no brooding. Mm -mm. I'm not going home without you. I'm not going home without Did you know I recently picked up the kazoo? And what can you play? Nothing, I picked it up, I put it right down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. I got a great spot parked right over here. And let's walk. Walk? Martha, don't you think? We're walking, that... come on. We're still young, aren't we? We're not, but we can pretend. Now which way? Let's go that way. What is it? Uh, do you remember Byron Hills? The magician at our wedding or the guy who mows our lawn? The landscaper. I don't remember our wedding. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you guys have a smoke I could borrow? Take it back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, wait, can I get a lighter? That's never enough with some people. Oh. So let's go this way. Oh, there goes a rat. Oh, that's a rat. Sure. Yeah. That's a big rat. Yeah, a big guy. He's found a nice source of... It's hard support. to you say goodbye, but at least I have you, my friend. I'm not going home without you. Not going home without you. Mm. I'm not going home. Not going home. I'm not going home without you. Yeah. Oh my God. I just said yeah before I took the phone out of my pocket. <laughs> yes, he's fucking Italian. <laughs> Sorry, Kelsey, that was like right yep. in your face. And phone's not ringing. Phone's not ringing. All right, I'm gonna cut that.